7 million people across the country, including these people here in Northeast Ohio, are out in their communities tonight taking a stand against crime and each other safe. Tonight is the 30th annual National Night Out. Good evening, I'm Lee Jordan. And I'm Danita Harrison for Chris, Chris Flanagan tonight. This yearly event now brings together neighborhoods in every state, and we'll tell you how you can take part, eat part even if you can't make it out tonight. But first, let's go live to the National Night Out in Steelyard Commons, where John Kosick begins our team coverage. John, this year's event has very special significance for this neighborhood. It really does, Lee. You know, consider the fact that we are only about a mile in a straight line from 2207 Seymour, the very place where three months ago, this night, at this hour, Amanda, Gina, and Michelle were making their way to freedom. And on this night, Gina De Jesus has found her way here to Steel Yard Commons to celebrate National Night Out. She is in that tent surrounded by the Guardian Angels, kind of taking in the event that her parents have become a fixture at for the past seven years since they've been here at Steel Yard, nine years since she first disappeared. They have come here on this evening to get out the word, the people, for parents to bring out your children, to have them fingerprinted, identify pictures taken. That was one of the first things that. Uh, Nancy Ruiz, Gina's mom, wanted people to know about. And as a result, the, the crowd here is absolutely phenomenal. You see the line for the Child Safety Initiative. This is where parents can come and get their kids fingerprinted. It's, it's wrapped around. They expect it to do about 250 normally, uh, but they're expecting probably upwards of 400 uh, of these safety kits that they're going to be handing out here this evening. So this public police partnership that has become National Night Out, a, a way to prevent and solve crimes, uh, really taking on a heightened significance here this evening because of what transpired so close. And this parents who gathered here in the past searching are gathering here tonight celebrating, but celebrating with the community around them. Reporting live at Steel Yard, John Kasich, News Channel 5. So there is something good happening here as so many people come to together to really make sure they've got things covered and trying to keep their families as safe as they possibly can, John.